What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before I get started today, I want to do a big shout out to my sponsors, TC Evolutions and PTCGO Store. Uh, link down below for codes and stuff. Please be sure to use them. But other than that, today we're back with another Sword and Shield format video. Today we're going to be talking about Peak Rom. Uh, Peak Rom is a deck that I think uh, has kind of fallen on the wayside last format uh, because there have been more powerful and better decks that came into the limelight. But uh, with the release of Ultra, uh, Quick Ball and Tough Coco V, as well as Professor's Research, the deck really gets a lot of steam and is brought back to the front uh, forefront of the uh, game. It's just a little bit stronger again. Everything kind of points to it being, you know, a top contender in uh, the field. So let me talk about my deck a little bit. We can get into some games. Uh, I've got the Orangu that is Primate Wisdom, the new addition to the deck. You may switch a card from the top of your deck. Uh, really good for just preserving cards you might need when you stick a more to Dene, you know, the nine yards. Uh, the Zigzagoon is something I'm trying out. Um, it is not definitively good or definitively bad yet. It's one extra damage counter, and I really like it because it does help hit numbers. Uh, Tapu Koko V is a new addition to the deck. Uh, Thunderbolt, Thunderous Bolt does 200, and this Pokemon can't attack during your next turn. Uh, Spike Draw says draw two cards and 20 damage. Uh, it's not really the best at attack, but I really like Tapu Koko because he has free retreat and that's uh, really something the deck lacks um having a pivot and having just a card that can do a bunch of damage and it's two prizes i have one zapdos is a one prizer um just quick easy one energy knockout like it's always been good for the reason that zapdos exists in the deck uh two zororas because have, having one prize can really hurt um with retreating uh, as you can note i don't play uh raichu raichu a little raichu because I think that card is mediocre at best right now. And I don't think that the GX attack is very feasible to pull off without being punished immediately. Because there's a lot of things in this format that really hurt it. Um, a lot of decks are playing Shrine and stuff like that to actually like actively counteract and get the extra damage. So I just feel like it's not a card that we get full value out of. But what I have been doing, I wrote about this in my 6 prize article more in depth if you guys want to check that out as well. But 4 Electro Charger um, to recycle E-Powers and put them back in the deck. There's E-Powers, E-Radars, E-Switches, Custom Catcher. Catcher makes its way into the deck because I think we want to have, give ourselves a chance to get a Zacian off the bench and blow one up. Uh, ideally, we only ever need one head, so there's only two copies. Um, there's an Ordinary Rod. There's two Vitality Ban. Uh, if I was going to cut these, they would probably end up becoming a third Stamp and a third Catcher for now. But I think the 10 extra damage is something I'm experimenting with, so we're trying it. Quick Balls. There's a Shrine as my Stadium of Choice because I think it's just really important to... Uh, hit those numbers, um, getting the Shrine plus Zigzagoon plus Vitality Band is plus 30, which helps with a lot of other things too. Type of Coco V gets, you know, a free 30 damage onto the board in addition to the 200 it's already doing, plus doesn't get affected by Shrine, and you have E-Powers and all these other cards. Um, there's four Professor's Research, and there's three Volkner. Um, so yeah, this is this is the deck. I really like it. It is currently one of my top picks, so without uh, further saying much else, let's jump into some games with pika charger i do plan on streaming a little more um this week i might be streaming by the time this video is up uh, later in the day uh we will have a video every single day until i leave for ocic so at least a week more of videos um dragon lightning i don't know what that could be um so we will see what the matchup is so typical clip this hand is okay I mean, I am going first, so I don't really get to do anything with this hand, but I do get to turn to Thunderous Bolt if I want it. Wait and see Hammer. Wait and see Hammer. Lightning Water. Greens. Um, I don't have any clue what it could be. ADP, interesting. So we'll go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and attach. And I think we'll just go ahead and pass. Um, we can play for the Thunderous Bolt 3 E-Power turn next turn. Or 2 E-Power plus... Um, plus... A Vitality Band. Or Shrine as well. Or we, we can't do Shrine, but Vitality Band Goon as well. So we can... We have options. Um, what is the Lightning part of his deck, though? That's what I'm wondering about. Uh, I understand that there's the ADP aspect of the deck, but what does the lightning aspect come in? He discards a stamp with Viridian, indicating he may have a shuffle draw like a Marnie this turn. 
Maybe, maybe not. Regardless, I'm going to braid away one of the lightnings um, and search our deck for another lightning to Sycamore, uh, provided that Coco Prism is in the deck, giving ourselves a Coco Prism out to set up something else on the bench, have a follow up, because uh, after Thunderous Bolt, Tapu Coco V can't attack on the following turn. So we want to have an out to actually do something. And um, yeah. So quick ball for Tapu Coco V. Maybe it's just ADP Tapu Coco V. Maybe that's the whole deck. Um, maybe he goes for the altered creation turn one. Um, well, it's water metal, so he can't even use the Coco. A very lackluster turn from our opponent. Pikram is a good pickup here. So we'll go ahead and discard one. Coco Prism is not in the deck, so let's actually... Um, Goon is also not in the deck. So I think what I want to do is still do this. Because I'm going to attach back here. I'm going to bench the Zapdos so I get a free attack regardless in case I miss. But I want to get a full blitz off this turn with an E-switch. Um, that doesn't seem to be the case. So we'll do this. We'll do this. We will quick ball one. I have two quick balls available to me. We will grab it to Dene. We will electro charger. One, that's all we need. Put it back. We will do it again. We'll grab the Guru. There's no cards I want to preserve with this immediate hand. I can't preserve any cards, actually. But I'll Dedene. Draw six. I want an E-switch. Perfect. We do have Vitality Band. We do have one E-power. So I'm going to check for a second to E-power. Okay, we didn't get it. So we're just going to go ahead. Retreat. I'm going to go ahead and catch her, actually. Heads. Perfect. Um, E-switch. To the active. E-power. And we'll go ahead and full blitz. So you already see the innate power of the deck. I literally just popped off on. I took a knockout turn two, regardless. Like, if I had hit one more E power also, I would have had a knockout on the ADP itself, which is crazy um, to think about. I got the goon, which is a good sign, but my bench is cluttered. Benching the Zapdos is a little bit of a coward play, in my opinion. I, may, I might not have had to do that. Um, but given the, the state that my goon and my prism are prized, I chose to just bench it and give my like waste to bench spot really so spinner quick ball interesting so now we're down two charger and one e-power so meaning we have three e-powers and three two chargers left so we have the potential to get a lot more back it's just kind of a we don't have to do anything yet right now so we can kind of wait um but at the very least if he's going to alter creation this upcoming turn we are in a really good spot because <clears throat> we can do a ton of damage and he can't really do anything about it. Um, if he chooses not to alter creation, he would have to attack us, but I don't know what he would attack us with. So yeah, here we go. Altered creation is probably going to come out this turn. Only a Cynthia Caitlyn. Yeah, just to that. Uh, it doesn't grab another Pokemon. doesn't grab anything else with the tag call, it looks like. Mm. Very interesting. But I think he might not be trying to bench anything because he thinks maybe I play more catchers, which I do. Um, so Quick Ball, okay. Ta another type of Coco V. So I think it's literally just an ADP type of Coco V deck. Um, nothing crazy has been kind of shown up here. It's an interesting concept, but we'll see what it comes out of it. Altered Creation comes down. 1e e power. So I can start with this just to see what my top deck would be. Volkner, that's fine. I can go for the 270 here. And then I have a goon on... Well, the goon is gone now, but... Um, I can go ahead and e-power... And I don't want to grab the energy, I don't believe. So what I can do here is retreat. Uh, double E-Power. Attach here. And Thunderous Bolt. So 270. 
He either knocks me out or gives me a free retreat into the Pikaraman attack, and then I have game next turn with Tapu Koko V on whatever he has on the board, or he does something about this. I am 10 damage short. Um, he has seen one shrine, I believe, hit the discard. Yeah. So he could think that I play another shrine. Oh, Vitality Band on his end. That actually means he hits for 240, um, which is pretty scary uh, for my entire deck. But can he power up the Tapu Koko V this turn? I don't think he can. He just gets a greens back. He'll have a stamp for sure. But I can just move into the Zapdos and knock him out. Um, giving him no real option. Because he has to ultimate ran. I don't think he can one shot me here because he does 180. But I have the 200. So he's getting a second tap of Coco V. Um... Could he do anything here? I don't think so, but I think this one is a locked and loaded cut and dry case for us here. He puts the three onto the board. Splits them. Um, Volker doesn't do too much good from here. I'm just going to attach you so I can have a free retreat next turn. Perfect. We got two chargers. Oh, for two. That's okay. We'll try again. One's fine. We will free retreat. I want to preserve the stamp for next turn. Unless he, you know, gets rid of my hand. And we'll go ahead and Thunder's Assault. The best part is it didn't even need to be on the bench this turn because I did, in fact, um, you know, just need to do 10 damage. So we get the Coco Prism back, which is good. And now it should be checkmate because I have two separate things that can do 200 damage guaranteed. Um, I don't think there's anything he can do to take any prizes here. I guess a slower deck like ADP, we should be able to flourish like this every single time. Um, I think my play was a little bit... I played a little bit scared with the Zapdos, but I think Coco Prism and the Goon being prized did pose problems because if either was not prized, uh, or if the Goon was not prized, I would have been able to Oko the um, ADP on turn two, actually, because I had the quick ball, I believe. So this worked out kind of swimmingly. Uh, I think he's, he's checking it. He's checking out what I can possibly do. He can possibly do here. Um, giant bomb. Interesting. Is that 10 damage counters anywhere? Put 10 damage counters on the active Pokemon. Wow, I was not expecting that, I'll be completely honest. On the attacking Pokemon, okay. Well, I, w I really was not expecting that. I do have two E-Switch left in the deck. So let's just go Coco Prism. Pop the Prism. That's a bug, I'm pretty sure. Um, This guy. Quick ball away the nav. We're just going to thin the deck. So I do have two E-Switch, and if I hit that, I win the game regardless here radar can't do today because we don't have the bench space for it then one more stamp to two that's that that's a plot so that's a plot twist i did not expect that to happen uh and there's an e-switch so that's the game for us so we'll retreat and we'll go ahead and tag vault so uh, actually kind of a close game because I didn't expect him to play Giant Bombs as a card. But uh, we did scrape out a win there. And we do prove the metal of the deck. Uh, and there's there's a, a example of why Tapu Koko V is so good. You have the free retreat. You don't need the Zoror in play for that. You have the uh, draw two attack two if we needed to do that uh, at any point in the game. If we wanted to damage the ADP and then prepare for a one shot on the following turn. Sure, our Thunder Mountain stuck around for way too many turns, but I don't think it was actually something we needed. So let's get into another game. He's got Psychic, 
dark metal colorless that's a lot of types could be uh obstagoon could be what else could it be with that many types i actually have no clue so we'll mulligan Typical could be is fine. We're going second. We have Sycamore. We have Quick Ball. Absol. That's annoying because now we actually don't have um, for your treat. So it looks like it's a doll deck. Maybe it's Goons. <clears throat> Doll's 30, so I actually have to. He can't support her. So let's go ahead and. Quick ball this. Coco Prism surprises again. That kind of sucks, actually. Um, okay. So let's grab Pika, put it in our hand. Simply E power here. I don't want a second more, so we'll just spike draw. He didn't really have a strong turn one, so I don't really know what his deck is meant to do yet. Oh, we saw a doll, we saw an Absol, we saw a shrine. So there is a modem of damage here. Um, so therefore, there must be something that does damage or a Mimikyu uh, shadow box that shuts us down ability-wise. Marnie, okay. So I think it might be the Goons deck that's been kind of surfacing a little bit. The Sableye, uh, Galarian, Goons, Escape Borg. And a pass. Okay. So our opponent is in dire straits. We can try to end it here with a stadium now, I believe. If it's in the deck. I remember seeing it. I'm actually just... I didn't see it. I'm actually just stupid. Um, okay, we'll just do it this way. Because I'm, I'm just bad at the game, apparently. So, sorry about that, guys. I thought I saw it. But it's been a long day. We'll grab the full blitz guy. Full E charger. Two tails. That's fine. There's the Thunder Mountain. We didn't need the Volkner anyway. Thunder's Bolt. That's the knockout. That's the game. Um, if this size deck is available, let's see if we can take a look at it really quickly before I move on. If not, thank you guys. Well, let me actually check. Nope, it is not. But thank you guys so much for watching another video from me. I'll try to keep putting these out with gameplay videos, two to three games per. Um, if I have like a really bad game on my end, I'll try to put a third game. But if you guys liked it, please leave a like below to let me know that you guys are enjoying it so I can keep putting out this kind of content. Leave a comment below if you guys think um, you like something better or you, some kind of decks you want to see in the Sword and Shield format. I have a couple already planned. But if you guys let me know ahead of time, I can take some time to pre-record some videos before I leave for Australia. So thank you guys so much. Remember to subscribe, remember to like, remember to use my sponsor links, follow on Twitter, you know, the whole deal. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on Monday for a new video. Thank you so much.